The Battle of Merida saw Republican militia twice fail to halt the Spanish Army of Africa near the historic town of Merida early in the Spanish Civil War. The Nationalists beat the Republicans from the city on August 10, 1936 and secured control the following day, allowing General Juan Yeag to surround and capture neighboring Badajoz in the Battle of Badajoz several days later. Chapter 1 – Nationalist Advance The Nationalist Army, under Colonel Carlos Asensio, assembled at Seville with assistance by German and Italian advisers. The force began its blitzkrieg-like drive northward on August 2 in trucks supplied by General Capo Delano. Major Antonio Costajone followed with a second column on August 3. Asensio raced north, smashing through fierce Republican resistance on August 6. The next day, the Army of Africa captured the village of Almendraljo after a bloody struggle that decimated both sides. The Republicans retreated north to nearby Merida, while the Nationalists waited for Costajone to arrive. Chapter 2 – The Battle On August 10, the Republican militia made another stand along the Guadiana River, several kilometers, south of Merida. Two banderas of the Spanish Foreign Legion and one tabor of Moroccan regulars took part in the battle. Before the attack, Merida was subjected to powerful shelling from nationalist artillery and aviation. The rebels then attacked the city from three directions, the fourth bandera from the south, crossing the Guadiana River after taking Alange and Sofra, the second tabor from the east, and the V bandera crossing the Puente Romano. The fourth bandera initially failed to cross the river, and retreated itself to Almendraljo, but the second tabor entered the city. In the meantime, Asensio, with the V Bandera, pushed forward and captured the bridge, then swept across the river and captured the city. The Loyalist militia retreated rather than risk encirclement, and General Yeag then arrived to take command of the rebel army. After the occupation of the city, Yeag's troops carried out a bloody massacre. The Committee of Defense, led by Anita Lopez was executed by the nationalists. Yeag next moved west against Badajoz with Asensio and Costajone, leaving a detachment of soldiers under Major Heli Teller to hold Merida. On August 11, the Republican militia reappeared with a strong contingent of Asaltos and Guardia Civil from Madrid. The Republicans attacked and were beaten by Teller's professional legionnaires. Meanwhile, Yeag's contingent took Badajoz by storm. Chapter 3, Aftermath After the occupation of Merida and Badajoz, the nationalists connected the nationalist-held northern zone and the southern zone. Furthermore, the nationalist occupied the occidental half of the Badajoz province and the republican government lost the control of the Portuguese frontier. The nationalists carried out a harsh repression in the conquered territory.